Barbie? Are you here for our totally tingly sleepover? Heck yeah. Just to be sure, you didn't bring any Kens, right? Because Ken's not allowed tonight. Ever since the tsunami release, Ken's been such a little buzzkill, you know what I mean? Like, I get it. Beach is hard, waves are big, sand gets everywhere, but... <sighs> Whenever people die, and big whales wash up on shore, I always just tell them to, like, go vegan and move on. But I feel like... Ken doesn't like that idea for some reason. Anyway, we have so many fun, tingly things planned for tonight. First of all, we have these gorgeous little water bloops. These are for ASMR, which gives you tingles in your brain. And with the power of tingles and our natural Barbie charm, we're going to get eight hours of sleep tonight. Doesn't that sound exciting? Eight hours of sleep. Absolutely delicious, canless eight hours. Do you like the microphone? Yes, I do too. Clack, clack. Ah. Isn't that interesting? It's, um, it's not my favorite color. It's kind of a little bit jarring, I think, of like a, like a color, but I mean, I think it's just like so cool to like have a microphone. I wish we had Tech Barbie here to help us figure out how to use it correctly. I hope I, I hope I turned it on right. Does it sound okay to you? Okay, good. Anyway, we have so many fun little props tonight. Do you want to say, oh, Cat Barbie doesn't want to say hi. I thought she did, but I think she wants to get into the window. Do you want to say hi to the other Cat Barbies outside? No, you don't. She's thinking about it. I think she decided not to. Anyway, we have so many fun new props to play with, and the first thing that we've got to do is put your hair back so that we can put a little face mask on you, okay? I think that this face mask is going to be so fun because whenever you already have perfect little Barbie skin like you do, face masks are just like a pretty experience, you know? Can you put your head down for me? Okay, thank you. There you go. Perfect. Now your hair is all out of the way. Do you mind if I put the face mask on you? It's gonna, um, feel like avocado on your face, but it's avocado and oatmeal and glitter. I think the glitter's in there just, um, like for pizzazz, you know what I mean? Because if you're not putting on a face mask with glitter, like, literally, why are you putting it on if you're in Barbie land? Okay, let's see if we can get a little bit out. It kind of smells like clay, because it's a clay mask. Okay. It's such a pretty color, right? Let's just put a thin layer on my fingers, like this. And put some on your nose. I want to focus the mask on your most porous areas, because... That's where people have pores, if they're like, not Barbies. And it's so fun to pretend, you know? So how have you been sleeping lately, Barbie? Have you been having good dreams? Mm. 
that's good. I'm glad that you've been having such good dreams. I've been having excellent dreams as well. The other night I dreamt about a big, big cloud. It was bigger than any cloud um, I've ever seen. It was, it was that big. It was huge. It was just floating in the sky, on the air, soaring from dimension to dimension. When I woke up, I felt so happy. Then again, I always feel happy when I wake up. How do you usually feel when you wake up? Are you still waking up happy? Mm -hmm. Good. Let's make sure to get that mask all in there. And I'm also going to put just a little bit on your chin to get those areas. And we're going to let this mask sit for a while until it becomes hard and then we're going to wipe it off. Get our delicious eight hours of sleep. All right. Okay. And I think I'm also going to put some right kind of above in between your eyebrows. There you go. Oh, you look so cute like that. A little splash of green goes a long way, I think. Anyway, moving on now. Do you want to hear more of these bloop, bloop, bloops? Yeah? Okay. Bloop, bloop, bloop. Bloop, bloop, bloop. I actually have another one. This way we can do one for you and one for me. Isn't that nice? Doesn't it just feel so pink and bubbly? I think it's good to stay bubbly. We have to do something to fight against this ridiculous tsunami release anyway. Who thought that the tsunami release was a good idea? I have no idea. It just put all the cans in a little tizzy. Now they're all afraid of water. And it's rough to be afraid of water when your job is beach. But, I mean, it makes sense. Waves do get big. And whales get very big. Not as big as the cloud that I dreamt of, though. That was bigger than any whale. Isn't this super? Bloop, bloop, bloop. Bloop, bloop, bloop. I've heard some people say that this sounds like, um, glug, glug, glug. Do you think it sounds more like bloop, bloop, bloop? Or glug, glug, glug? I'll do it slow, okay? And try and think in your head, is it glug, 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 or bloop, 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 okay? Listen. Okay. What do you think? Let's try again. What do you think? One more time. What do you think? Bloop, bloop, bloop. I like bloop, bloop, bloop as well. But... I think that some Barbies might prefer glug, glug, glug. 
and I can understand that. I think diversity is one of the things that makes us so special and so wonderful. I'm so glad that you're so different from me in every way that's important, and also I'm so glad that you're the same as me in every way that's important. I'm so glad you came to our totally tingly sleepover. Glug, glug, glug. Or bloop, bloop, bloop. Do you like the way it looks? Does it make you feel sleepy? Does it make you feel like you're ready for a full eight hours of sleep? It makes me feel like I'm ready for a full eight hours of sleep, personally. Glug, glug, glug. You know, glug, glug, glug is growing on me a little bit. Glug, glug, glug. Or bloop, bloop, bloop. It could be either. It could be either or either. Or glug, 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 or bloop, bloop, bloop. Do you like to say either or either? That's either or either. Hmm. Super. I also have these beautiful little stars. Aren't they precious? No, Barbie, they didn't come from the sky. They came from paper. They're just little paper stars. I have hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of them. This is just a small sample. Aren't they cute? And I think they make a very nice little sound as well. Because they're made out of paper. I think if we put a whole bunch of stars from the real sky into our palm like this and wiggled them around and slammed them into one another, it wouldn't sound very nice. It might sound like a war, except even worse. I don't think Ken would be brave enough for that noise, but Atomic Barbie might be. Falling star. Do you want a wish on a falling star? Think of a wish, Barbie. Don't worry, another one will fall and you'll have more time. Think of a wish, Barbie. All right, you've got it in your head. Three, two, one, wish. Good job. Do you want to wish again? Okay. Let's do a blue wish this time, okay? Do you have a wish in your head? All right. Three, two, one, wish. Oh, it fell right onto my bed. Here's your wish. I bet all your wishes will be granted. Do you want to make a whole bunch of wishes at once and hear them swish together? Okay, super. You can make as many wishes as you want right now. You can wish about how you want your day tomorrow to go, or how you want to see certain Barbies in Barbie land, or how you want to see certain Kens in Barbie land. You can wish about the next Please. Or you can just make more wishes about getting our precious, delicious eight hours of sleep tonight. Isn't it going to be nice? I know we always get eight hours of sleep, but we don't usually talk about it. And I feel like talking about it, um, well, I mean, it's the whole point of this sleepover. So we've got to talk about it, you know? seal all our little wishes right back into this jar, okay? 
Mm. Oh, things are so hard to close sometimes. They just don't fit. I wish Container Barbie was here. There we go. I think I got it. Are you thirsty, Barbie? You can borrow some of my water if you'd like. I got it for us. I don't mind sharing with you. It's natural water from the Barbie Land Spring. Would you like some? Super. Here you go. I'll make sure that it doesn't get on your face mask, okay? Yep. Drink up. My favorite thing about this water bottle is that since we can't really swallow water, it always has water inside of it so we never run out. And I have these lovely little stickers. This one's my favorite. It's the mountains. Do you see? It's the mountains underneath the stars with beautiful trees. And there's a little path cutting through. That's my favorite sticker. Does this give you tingles? Perfect! You're really getting tingles right now? Good job, Barbie! Oh, thank you! How does that sound? Mm. Feel free to relax, close your eyes, think big thoughts, think small thoughts, think about a delicious eight hours of sleep. I know I sure am excited for that. Now I have a couple more tingle-inducing props for us to play with. First, I have these super cute tarot cards. This deck is the Fae and the Ferns Tarot by Samantha Sawyer. She's a human living in the human world, and she does art. I think she sells it on a website called Etsy. And this is the tarot deck that they made. It has all these very interesting animals on it. Do you want to just look through some of the cards with me? Okay. Here's the moon with a little wolf howling at the moon. And here's the page of wands. A little bee carrying one of those little wands somewhere. Oh, and the emperor. Very strong. Ken wishes he was an emperor, but he's just Ken. And then we have the five of pentacles. Honestly, not a vibe for us. We have the Two of Cups. You and I are kind of like the Two of Cups, Barbie. We're like two peas in a pod. We get along so well. 
all together and we have so much fun we have so much fun There's the Four of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups, another very, very happy card. Anytime I have a massive sleepover, I feel like it's Ten of Cups energy. Anyway, I think it's pretty fun to look at tarot cards. There's just so many different little art things inside of them. So many different ideas. It's crazy to think that so many ideas can fit in your hand. So many different archetypes. So many different characters. Every single tarot card is kind of like one of the Barbies, you know? There's one for everything. And some of them feel a little bit redundant but none of them really are. All of them are unique and original, and we should make sure to say hi to each and every one of them once in a while. It's good to remind ourselves of just how diverse we are and just how important it is for every single one of us to feel empowered and beautiful and perfect. Because we all are, so no one should feel any other way. And that, of course, includes you. I'm very proud of you. You've done such a great job, Barbie, and you definitely deserve getting a full eight hours of sleep. I hope you're still getting ASMR. You are? Super! The back of these cards has a B at the top and a bee at the bottom, and bees are one of my favorite animals. I don't know why. They just are. Funny how some things are like that, huh? And next, I have our Ethereal Orbs Oracle deck. This is another little deck of cards, and I like to keep this one around because it reminds me that I and you, that we as women, are ruled by the moon, and no one can take that away from us, okay? A lot of astrology, I mean most of astrology, is based off of the sun, and that's like fine, like the sun is cool, but we are ruled by the moon as women, so I think that lunar astrology is very good for us to familiarize ourselves with. Don't you? Super! So, as the sun moves around the sky during the 24-hour cycle, the sun is a big star, and it's pretty close, like, compared to other stars, it's the closest one, so that's why it looks like it moves faster than all the other stars, and it moves through the different constellations. You can see the sun move from Taurus to Gemini to Libra, not in that order, but it moves around, and the moon also moves around during its 28-day cycle, and it moves through a lot of different constellations. It moves through some of the same constellations as the sun, but also even more. So, lunar astrology looks at all of the different signs, all of the different constellations that the moon floats through on its 28-ish day cycle. So, here's some moon signs. I'll just let you look at these, okay? You can just look at how pretty they kind of glimmer. They kind of glimmer, don't they? I love this holographic foiling. I think it's just 
so super. It's so perfect for exemplifying the moon. Do you like this card or this card more? This or this? This or that? That or this? Do you like this card or that card? This one. Okay. And do you like this card or this card more? This card or that card? Do you like this one more? Okay. And do you like this card or this card? Barbie? Hey, stay awake. Barbie? Do you like this card or this card? This one. Okay. And now, Barbie? Are you paying attention? Do you like this card or this card, Barbie? This one? I like this one, too. Now, do you like this card, Barbie? Or this card? This one? Nice. Do you like this card, Barbie? Or this card? This one? Excellent. And do you like this card more? Or this card more? This one? Perfect. I think the moon is the most beautiful and important thing in the sky. Just like I think Barbies are the most important people in Barbie land. Do you want me to pull a card at random for you? Yeah, super. Let's see. What does the moon have for you? Can you see it? Focus. Barbie? Barbie? Focus. Barbie? Focus, Barbie. There you go. Here's your card. Do you like the way that it looks? You can make this card your whole identity if you want. That's fine. You can be whoever you want to be, or whatever you want to be. You can do whatever you set your mind to, and that includes making your entire identity Almakadam, Almakadam, Divine Source and Love. You can be Divine Source and Love, Barbie. When two souls encounter, and when they welcome romance, their hearts are bonded, and fate becomes unbreakable. That could be like us, Barbie. We can become bonded, and our fate can become unbreakable. How cool. Anyway, it's just about time for you to get your eight hours of sleep. And for me, too, to get my eight hours of sleep. Are you feeling nice and sleepy? Good. I'm gonna wipe the face mask off of your face, okay? There you go. Does your face feel nice and clean now? It looks very nice and clean. You're just glowing, Barbie. You're so beautiful. 
It never ceases to surprise me how beautiful you are. <laughs> really? Here, let me get this headband off of your hair. And let's get you to sleep, okay? You can get cozy. Here you go. You can use this star pillow if you'd like. It's really soft. You can lay your head on it and think about all of the wishes that you made on all of those shooting stars and how they're sure to come true because why wouldn't they, Barbie? Why wouldn't your dreams come true with a heart as good and pure as yours? You are divine source and love. You're Almekadam, Barbie. And it's time for you to go to sleep. Because that's the whole point of this super, totally tingly sleepover. <laughs> go ahead. Close your eyes. And go to sleep gonna get eight full hours of sleep tonight. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Two counts of four. I wish we had math Barbie here. She wouldn't need to use her fingers. She could just use her brain. It's pretty cool that I have this microphone here, and that I can use it to help you get tingles, and help you go to sleep. <laughs> sleep. Sleep. Do you like it when I do that? Barbie.